Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Ordinary Lactic Acid 5% plus Hyaluronic Acid, which can help you with uneven tone and textural irregularities such as bumpy or rough skin and also large pores. And it also can help you with fine lines. This is a water-based zone which you are going to use after you have cleansed your face but before any oils and creams and you can use it daily, ideally in the evening. Now if you have sensitive, peeling or compromised skin, please do not use the lactic acid. And it's also important that whenever you're using the lactic acid and also being exposed to the sun, please also always use sun protection, since the lactic acid can make your skin sensitive to the sun. And the lactic acid itself has also a few conflicts with other ordinary products, which I wanted to get into later on by the end of the video, so please make sure that you're watching the entire video. But for now, let's have a quick look on how you can do the patch test. So now I'm going to show you how you can patch test the ordinary lactic acid 5% plus hyaluronic acid. Now first of all we're going to do the patch test on the upper forearm area and it's important that you're going to clean this area before you're going to do the patch test. So take a bit of soap and water and wash the area. Then take a towel and pat the skin dry. Now go ahead and use the lactic acid and place it on the area which you just have cleaned. So now leave it on this area for 24 hours and keep it dry before you are going to rinse this area with water. If any redness, burning, itching or other irritation is observed at any time throughout the test, do not use this product. And this was how you can do the patch test for the ordinary lactic acid. And now we are ready to also move on to the application. So before you're going to apply the ordinary lactic acid, it's important that you're going to start off with step number one, which is washing your face with a cleanser or hydrating bar of soap. If you aren't sure how you can do this, I have a video for you in the top right corner. Now I have already washed my face, so I'm ready for the application. Now you can use the ordinary lactic acid on its own, or you can also dilute it with any other serum or moisturizer to reduce the strength of it until your skin has also the tolerance for it to use it alone. Now, if you want to dilute it, I would definitely would recommend what works also the best for me to use the hyaluronic acid since the lactic acid already includes hyaluronic acid with it. So those two together work really great in my opinion. And the way you can do it is start off with one drop of the hyaluronic acid. And add one to three drops of the lactic acid. And then you're going to mix it. And apply it evenly all over your face and neck area. Now of course you can use the lactic acid also on its own and this is also what I'm going to show you now. It's recommended to use one to three drops of the lactic acid and I'm going to also stick with three drops. 
However, if you feel the need that you want to add more, then you can also add a few drops more. Just make sure that you're starting off with less and if you want to add more, you can do so by the next time. And then I'm going to apply it evenly all over my face and neck. I prefer to pat it into the skin, but if you prefer to use blending motions, also rubbing it into the skin, then you can do so. Just make sure that you're not coming across any issues, such as also the peeling situation, which basically means that, you're, um, that the product is going to flake off of your skin, which can happen when rubbing it too harshly into the skin. So I can also link you a video in the top right corner if you want to check this out, if this issue also happened to you. And with the lactic acid, also make sure that you're going to let it sink into the skin. There's no need to rinse it off, just to leave it on the skin. Now there's also one more thing that I want to talk about, and this is also the conflicts, which are really important if you want to dilute the product, as well as if you want to also include it in your skincare routine. So with the lactic acid, this one has a few conflicts also when using other ordinary products with it. For example, the direct acids which is also really important to be aware of. For example, you can't use the ordinary toner together with the lactic acid in one routine. This wouldn't work and it just maybe also would be too strong for the skin and irritation can happen. Or also do not use it with the oil quant 3 4 or any peptides. So if you are aware of the conflicts, then you're also ready to also use it in your skincare routine or also dilute it. Now I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that I covered as many like questions as possible and that you now know how you can use it. And if you like this video, don't forget to also give the thumbs up as well as sharing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.